Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be talking about the ban list, the leaked one that Mega Capital G has uploaded to his channel. We don't know if it's fake or real yet, but if it is, I'm really happy with it. I couldn't agree more except for one card on the list, which will be Primal Seed. Because if Primal Seed is back, that means Chaos Emperor Dragon and Bear of the End is going to come back the next list. Um, but yeah, let's get started. For the bank cards, we have Black Luster Soldier. This card has got to go. Like, it's it's a game changing card. Anyone that plays it could automatically win the game by playing it in the right moment. It's a free summon, especially if you're on Chaos Dragons or something with a bunch of lights and darks. All you do is remove two cards from your graveyard. Special it, forcing your opponent to waste any cards he or she has on the field. Like, just to get rid of it, or Veilers in their hand. You can either attack twice in one turn, or banish any monster on the field, whether it is face down or face up. This card is too broken, and if pulled at the right time, you automatically win the game. Next up, Wind Up Hunter. Yes, finally, I agree with this so much. Why? This is so simple. Without this card, your opponent needs to, like, be able to play Wind Ups with skill, like, make it fair, don't loop their hand, play with a disadvantage against them, just play how the deck is supposed to play, spam XYZs if possible, and sit on those. Next up we have Sangin. Sangin is only on this list because it searches mostly every card that's needed in combos right now, like Rabbit and everything. Not only that, it's because they don't want to touch Tour Guide. Tour Guide is a money card and it's helping them basically Help our XYZs. Um, another card on the list that's going to be on it, which will be on Unlimited, is Summoner Monk. It's for the same reason Tour Guide is not hit, because Tour Guide helps XYZs in the game just rapidly grow and, like, you know, it gets more popular for the game. Konami will keep it so they make more money with XYZs in the future when more rank 3s come out. Next, we have Future Fusion. This card. Oh my god, so many OTKs going around with this, it's the, it was worse than Dragons. Every time I'm at Locals or something and they play this card on me, um, after I go first, they, I just scoop, I can't, I hate dealing with Dragons with this card, they play it, get everything into the graveyard, it's like, it's, you know what it is, it's a painful choice, that's exactly how I should describe it, painful choice, it's just gonna put all five of their cards to their grave, banish dad and their red eyes, and they're just gonna go for the little loop, as you would say. Finally on this list, Monster Reborn. This card was supposed to be on this list for a long time. Special summoning a monster from either player's graveyard. It's too broken. You could get rid of one monster from your opponent and play it back to your side. It's like it's like having a Goyo in a spell card. Um, I, I play this card obviously because it's so good, but in so many situations, I wouldn't want it. Some cards on this list that I'm surprised aren't here, because that's all there is for banned. I'm surprised that Brionic is not on this list. Honestly, Brionic should have been on this list. It's a fair card. Pitch one to get rid of one, and it could get Valored after you pay the cost. But honestly, Brionic is also game-changing. Helps OTKs, especially with Samurais. For Limited, we have Insector Dragonfly. Insector is my worst matchup because I play Samurais. All they do is herp, derp, herp, derp, herp, derp. Tired of it, don't want it going on no more, agree with this card. If you can't get rid of one Dragonfly, when they play it, then you're done. Who cares? You have no skill, whatever, you didn't save for that card. I don't want, it's really good, I agree. Next up is Sinister Serpent. This card has not seen play for so long. The last time I remember seeing this card with play was with Yada Garasu in the deck that Yada lock, but I've been away from the game for a while, so I'm not sure. This card I won, it's, it's like a Treeborn Frog that goes back to your hand instead. I'm pretty sure some people are going to make OTKs with this card, but you never know. Next I one is Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Yet again, they hit the friggin' Chaos Dragons. I love this list. I hate Chaos Dragons and I hate Insectors. Rabbit is okay, but yeah. This card at one, amazing. 
it's too broken special summon special 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 go on go into something big with this heretics are getting hit too basically i forgot to add that to the list they're at number five then getting hit um i'm going to be listing what's hit got hit the highest like the most to the lowest in my opinion later on and how you can help your deck if you play that and you don't want to sell it to make it bigger next we have miracle fusion with with um super poly still out there miracle fusion at one it's really good um i would put um super poly to one and miracle fusion to two personally but this is really good especially if the dark heal is out now um yeah they could take over anything with super poly so honestly i think i just put super poly to, uh, to one and miracle to two but that's just me rekindling this card thankfully they put this on um if it's a real list i'm glad because the lava owls can go otk turn one with friggin shooting quasar dragon because of rekindling so if they don't have that card in your hand you're safe next we have seven limited rescue rabbit at two uh, honestly you could have so many cards to search it out still so like it doesn't make a difference to me but turn one rescue rabbit is annoying so i'm happy you went to seven limited i hope like i think i'm not sure doesn't make a difference to me um next insector hornet um insector hornet at two uh foolish burial i don't know that's doesn't matter like insector hornet on this list makes no difference dragonfly is already at one sure why not next they're hitting dark worlds as well apparently grapha seven limited to two um doesn't make any like big difference next is e-hero shining this can cause some trouble for heroes too because they can't just keep saving up their monsters and refilling their hand with you know shining so it's unlimited hero shining next is mst we have heavy storm dust tornado at three we have whatever not new spell is called something shot night shot so mst at two it's i run two most people run two so there's no problem next gates of the dark world this is the last card on the semi-limited list this card with what's that card's name zephyros can get crazy so at two it's okay i guess three as well it doesn't make a difference so some of these choices aren't like you know the best but yeah unlimited marshmallow this card should have never been like touched in the first place it's it's like a reaper but you it's harder to get rid of you need to use like something good like bounce it or something summoner monk get the xyz's keep them coming i love xyz's right now they're helping me a lot they're fun to play so why not support xyz's destiny draw um this card should have been unbanned a long time ago um yeah that's pretty much it it's gonna at least put more destiny player like destiny decks out there some more combos going yeah magical stone evac this card mm, starts off a lot of decks now um more like suckish should i say decks are going to be played such as exodia otks well maybe not so many but i hope i could see exodia deck i don't like to play against them but yeah if they get out of hand just ban the right or left leg or something of exodian yeah prime will see it. like i said in the first place if this comes back like if this is the actual list then this means chaos emperor dragon of the end or whatever you want to call it is coming back and with that back it's going to be a funny funny format um so yeah the decks that i think are going to get hit are insectors heroes dark rose chaos dragon rabbit and heretics we all know this insectors got hit the worst in my opinion their um dragonfly went to one and hornet is going to two apparently by this list anything i'm going to say is about this list right here they're going to have a hard time playing unless they put in their rifles or something into this deck now just to mill faster and get cards to their hand heroes and dark worlds heroes and miracle fusion at two i mean at one it's it's going to be hard for them to play but i'm pretty sure they could still live it out because super poly is at three and then they have mash changes and everything like that so they're fine but 
people are going to be like mad about it for some reason if this does happen. Dark Worlds is the same place with Heroes in second. Dark Worlds getting hit. It doesn't make a big difference, but I still think they got hit more than Chaos Dragons because without the gates of three, they won't be able to spam their stuff as fast. And even if they have the Turbo Engine, their graph is gone, but they have Snow as well. So I'm not sure about this one anymore. Chaos Dragons, they got hit really hard. No more Sangin, no more Future Fusion, no more Red Eyes. It's at one. Wow, poor Chaos Dragon players. I'm glad you guys got hit. <laughs> Rabbit, two. Rescue Rabbit at two, no more Sangin. Perfect. Even though I always cited in Rivalry of the Warlords. Yeah, Heretics. Bye bye, Red Eyes, that's all. Um, so, yeah. Tell me what you think about this list, if you like it or not. I personally love it, and I hope it becomes true. And I'm glad Kizan never got hit. Kizan is the shit in Samurai. It's like, without Kizan, you can't do squats. But yeah, tell me what you would replace with what in your deck if you're playing it. I would personally replace Sangin with another search card, like Giant Rat or something. Stuff like that. But So it doesn't add to your hand, just special it. Stuff like that. Anything similar, right? So... If Reborn is gone, just put in a third call of the Haunted. If, like, let's see. I don't even know anymore. Marshmallow's back. MST, you could side in a Dust Tornado instead of it. Um, yeah, small stuff like that, I guess. But yeah, tell me what you think about this prediction. And visit Mega Capital G's channel. Uh, for more information. Thanks for watching.